think I'll say the first one, because it still is really important, obviously, um, is uh, when my grandpa passed away. And I was like five or six. I didn't really know him that well. Like I, it, I knew him in the way that, like, like a five or six year old knows their grandpa in like a very distant kind of way. But, um, and he was always pinching my cheeks. Like that was like, he was always pinch, pinch my cheeks and he's this old man from like Poland, from like the old country. So he's like one of those old country Jews. Like I thought that sounded crazy. But, um, and then it was the first time my parents ever had to go out of town. That was why it was such a big deal because he was buried at the cemetery in Kansas, Jewish cemetery in Kansas City, Missouri. And so my parents both flew back for the funeral. And then um, I was at home. It was the first time my parents had left my brother and I home alone. And so I remember that was kind of, you know, that was sort of a big deal. That was very weird to sort of register, like, that my grandpa had passed away, but also, like, my parents went away. And so, like, I was always, like, it was really scary because I was thinking, like, what drew them away from, like, you know, my brother and I, and did they abandon us? It was that whole, I mean, not, not really, but, like, it was, that, it was that whole thing. But the thing I love about my family is that, um, is that, like, you know, the, his funeral is actually a really great story. Like, like you know, we're these big kind of gregarious, you know, whole, my you know, Jewish family on my dad's side. And um, and so now we turn, you know, we sort of turn his funeral into this really funny story, which I would tell, but I don't know if I want to tell it. But should I tell? I don't know. I would, like, it's just, I'll, I'll tell you. And <laughs> then you don't have to put this on the internet. But um, no, basically the, the rabbi was like talking to, um, you know, he was, he was gonna give the speech, gonna give, give this like eulogy from the temple. And um, he was asking my, he was asking my grandma what, you know, some things about him. Like, you know, oh, she was, he was like consoling her. He was like, your husband seemed like such a wonderful man. He had so many friends. Like, you know, what, what do you really wanna, what do you wanna say about him? Like, he, you know, he, and he seemed to love you so much. He seemed to be obsessed with you. Everyone, everyone that I'm hearing from says that he just loved you so much. You were like the light of his life. And she goes, she's like, She's like, oh, like, Bernard, he was fine, but he really loved a screw. And so, and so, and so, sorry, the camera's shaking. Oh my god, and so, and so, then the rabbi is like, and you were like five? The, yeah, the rabbi is like, okay, okay. Um, and so he gets, I guess he gets up and he's like, and apparently Bernard was a very attentive lover. <laughs> like that is all he said. <laughs> so yeah. So that's yeah, that's my first loss. Which now has been memorialized in this really, you know, beautiful way in that like, you know, I knew my grandpa, but also like instilling this idea of like how to deal with something like that, like using humor, which is sort of like a pinpoint in my life. Um, yeah.